what's happening, guys? Uh, I was about to go to bed, but then uh, I've started getting into this, you know, the filming stuff, and you know, got my tripod and all that junk, and it started getting messy. So I started to clean my room up a little bit, just to, um, you know, so I can walk around in the room now. And I was going through all my, my all my stuff that I have, and I came across this thing that I'm sort of proud of when I first started playing games, and I kind of wanted to show it to you. So, hold on. Do you see that? All those papers? Those are all cheat codes or hints or guides or different stuff like that like I'm starting to look through them and there's like Uncharted Drake's Fortune there's Final Fantasy 7 uh, anything that I needed during that time um, there's Model for two in, uh, Intel locations Ocarina of Time like the Water Temple that place was stupid there's Final Fantasy 13 trying to max out all the weapons uh, Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, Kingdom Hearts, there's even a, uh, can't really see it, but there is a, like, hold on, and there's a bunch of segments of this, and what that is, is this. This is the entire map of Cyrodiil, and they're broken into sections, so they have their numbers on it. So if I was like, oh, I need to go to section two, I would find section two, number two right there, and then I could see all the locations that were in that area. So, yeah, I printed, ah. <laughs> I printed that off, I have all of that now. Uh, I mean, you know, now that I think about it, like back in the day when you had dial-up, and you were going through that stuff, you couldn't, like, you you couldn't just run back and forth across the house because my my room's on this end of the house and the computer's on the other end. You couldn't just you know hold up the phone line and, and use dial up or whatever. So you would print it off. So I mean that's what I did for a while, and I would just write it down. <laughs> Here's a White Knight Chronicles, a list of where all the NPCs are, and I mean it's just there's like eight pages of this stuff so I mean I'm just kinda going through it and I was about to throw it away cause like if I ever need it again I can actually you know just go on the internet and look at it like I do now uh... here is uh... the Warren from uh... Infamous so all the you know the, the shard locations that I had yeah uh, you have to find all these blast shards well, on this map, you can't see it, it's dark, but on this map, there's like, you know, on a bunch of the maps, like I think there's another one, and I marked them with little red dots, the, uh, the historic district, and all there's like, I think there's like 450 shards, there's a bunch of them, here's the neon district, and I, I had it, and I just ran to that location, and I, uh, I marked it off. So I did that. I actually printed that off at school and got yelled at for that. But this is like some of the old, old stuff right here. Look at this. Look at this ratty piece of paper. It's a, this is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. And it's like chapter 27, Dark Knight, don't kill it. Or Nausea, Nausea will join. Or Stefan, chapter 15, upper right part of the map. Just stuff that I wrote down. So when I got to it, I was like, oh, okay. Triangle attack, Elincia, just different little stuff. It says Devadon, do not attack children. It's like Soren, Elanyard, Rolf, and Mist. So like, I just wrote stuff down. I'm just, I just kind of wanted to, before I got rid of it all, I just kind of wanted to go through it. This looks like Final Fantasy VII. This is, it was uh, little strategies I had wrote down. So it's like two Knights of the Mound uh, charges with W Summon and Mimic. So it would cast Knights of the Round like four times or something like that. It was crazy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> There's some Final Fantasy VII little sticky note. I have a whole bunch of these sticky notes. Uh, R36, L10, R59, R97. 
that was the code to get into the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Uh, that was the safe code. And, uh, I mean, now you can just Google it. But, I mean, back in the day, when I, when I figured it out or whatever, I wrote it down so if I wouldn't have to figure it out again. This is when I was trying to calculate how much stuff I would need to platinum Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, I just wrote that down. Let's see, yeah, here's some more Final Fantasy XIII. Tells of Symphonia. Look at this. Look, look, look at that little piece of paper. It's a, a windmill room. You get wind soul, right wall red, green. See, whatever it was, I wrote them down. So I would never forget them. And I don't know, but like, my friends, they, they know that like, my memory works weird. ATV quad power racing for the GameCube. Uh, you had to, it was little codes like, it says all riders, and you type in like Bubba, and you get all the riders or something like that. So they're little codes, but like my memory works weird. So like uh, the other day, we're playing um, what were we playing? We're playing zombies, and we hadn't been on. We hadn't played it in months and months, and we we're playing like Call of the Dead, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah just go over here and the. The MP40's here, the Juggernaut's over here, the random weapon is over here, and you just go up and down and like all this stuff, and like I remember how much everything cost, and all that, and my cousin just like, he's just looking at me like, how do you remember this stuff? I don't know. I remember the most random stuff. <laughs> There's a, a Yu-Gi-Oh game, Jaden, Cyrus, Chumley, it's what they ate. Like, so for the PSP, and I think it was for the PS2, you gave them food, and you could, uh, do that. Uh, Godzilla. Oh my gosh, Godzilla cheat codes. You wrote down these numbers, and you got this stuff, like, on God mode and stuff like that, so you could, uh, beat the whole game. Pokemon Coliseum. One of the greatest cheat codes of all time is on this. Basically, what was a, uh, what happened is... Uh, if you had unlimited master balls once you got the master ball so you would throw the master ball and I, I remember that like I don't need the paper anymore but because <laughs> I mean I haven't read it but I remember it being on that sheet you throw the master ball then on your second Pokemon you throw an uh, you say you're gonna throw an ultra ball on it instead and back out and then just attack with the second Pokemon and when you throw the ball at the beginning of your turn it throws the master ball even though the ultra ball gets wasted so that's pretty cool Here's Spider-Man. Look how look how tightly I tried to fit on on this piece of paper. It's just like it's all look at that. GameCube Spider-Man. And I even put like, oh go to gtcc.com for uh to go and find all that. So I mean it's just it goes on and on. Tiger Woods, front and back. And look, I'm like I would find something like, oh that code doesn't work, and I would I would scratch it out. Uh, more Tales and Symphonia, all kinds of, uh, stuff, front and back, apparently I did something wrong right there, <laughs> I don't know, but I just wanted to share you this stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, I'm just kind of going through them, Spectrobes, uh, but before I threw all this stuff away, because, you I mean, you really don't need it now, I just kind of wanted to remember this or something like that. Uh, Phantom Hourglass. Uh, it's like where all the power gems and stuff were located for, uh, I think that he gave you something, uh, in Legend of Zelda. Uh, here's the world map for Final Fantasy. So, I would, I kept getting lost. So, I, uh, I just kind of, you know, kept it on there. So, I like that. Uh, what is this? This is, I think this is Final Fantasy, the very first one. It's sort of just like a walkthrough of, well, whatever I needed. So if I needed to go through an area and, like, I needed to find an item, it would be like, oh, turn left, turn right. And I just had it like that, and I kind of walked through it or whatever. And, uh, I mean, those just helped me. That says Mount Durger, and this says Melmana? I don't know. Uh, we got, and then at the very last end of this, I don't know if it was the first thing I had, but it was, uh... Looks like Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, it's like Traverse Town and the Trinity Limits. I'm not sure which ones we're in. Uh, where you have to do green and yellow and red Trinity and white Trinity. And you have to do the 
the special stuff. So I'm trying to get all this stuff. When I opened it up, it was like sealed. Like out. I mean, it's a huge amount of paper. Ocarina of Time, the Shadow Temple, the Spirit Temple. I don't even know if I ever got to the Spirit Temple and Spirit Tracks, but yeah. So, this is ruined. Look at it. It's like all been out of shape now. And now I have killed a massive amount of trees. But, yeah, um, Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Shane for Games, cleaning out his stuff.